Hi guys, this is Anson, and today we have this brand new Agon 1 M.2 enclosure for Raspberry Pi. So this is a brand new version 2 of the Agon 1 case for Raspberry Pi, and we only just got a sample today, and let's see what's inside. So this is the uh, final enclosure, so let, let me just take it apart and see what's inside. So out of the box there is a manual the case itself and some screws and if we just look at the manual first it shows you the steps of how to install the Raspberry Pi into this case and one of the big features is that it supports uh, the M.2 SSD and it's actually a bridge using the USB 3.0 so without without talking too much i have another raspberry pi 4 right here so let's put it together so let's take it apart so you can see that they actually feel components within the case so the main the first step will be to put this adapter board into the raspberry pi 4 through the audio jack as a guide so and slowly plug it in and it should be a fixed position like this once it's fixed we can we can just place this onto the onto the top of the board of, of the enclosure so something like this so it actually matches the pin also and you can see that their their 40 pin GPIO actually needs to connect to the top header of the case so like that so that goes in and now I can actually take out some of the screws so, so here so if I just separate them into the same screws so yep there are two pairs of screws oh also for good mention there's some there's some um, hit sync stickers right here but for demonstration I'm not going to stick them onto the case right now so now we can just put these screws into the case. So for the internal ones, you want to use the shorter screws. So for now, that will be, that will be good. And also we have the main, the main feature of this board, the M.2 slot. So we have actually prepared another SS M.2 SSD right here. So if we just first unscrew this screw and put it to the side and put our M.2 here. Just plug it in. There we go. And it should goes all the way in, and you should hear like a small clicking noise. And I'll we'll just simply screw up, screw back, and now that is fixed to the to the bottom layer of the board. So we actually we can actually take off this now. And you can see there's also the edge effect of the Argon One M.2 on written on the bottom. So now we actually assemble two of the two of the uh, components of this enclosure, and now you you just put these two together and make sure the USB 3.0 of both parts are the, are aligned in the same way. And I'll show you why we need to do that later. And now we can just use these longer versions of the screws and hold them together. and now it's actually put in together so as i mentioned we need to put align these usb 3.0 ports together because this is actually how they connect it together so there's another component which uses uh, usb 3.0 to connect the m.2 to the raspberry pi so we need to plug this in and now you have the raspberry pi 4g with the ssd installed and um, this is the final 
final final case and um, based on the vision version one design they also keep the same magnetic top to for the gpio section so it's this still really nice and compact and on the top look for the top it looks pretty much the same as the version one um, but with a little bit of the bottom layer it actually includes the m.2 ssd inside so this is the uh, quick review of the argon one m.2 case hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to follow us on our social account on our twitter and bazaar page